Hi guys and welcome to the fifth video in the series where we are learning Java using Android Studio. So in our last video we learned what variables are and more specifically string variables and if you watched the last video I asked if you could spot an error I made when um, naming my variables. Well I gave my variable name with a starting capital just here you can see it's a capital M and again Homer capital H. So if you saw that good job although the code will still run it's generally bad practice to give variable names like this because they could be mistaken for classes such as these classes generally start with a capital letter you should really give uh, variables lowercase starting letters it's not overly important it's just good uh, good housekeeping so um, we're going we're going to now take a look at variables with number values and the first thing we'll be looking at is integer types now an integer is a number value that is a whole number or a number that has no uh, decimal places so we'll jump right in and and we'll say we'll take a random number say uh, 56 and this is an integer because it's a whole number no bit no decimal places so this wouldn't be classed as an integer we're just gonna be looking at whole numbers for now so let's let's clear all this um, actually what we can do is we can instead of deleting all this what we can do is if I type slash star then what that tells Java is to ignore everything after that star so ignore every single line of code after that star and if I, d I don't want it to ignore this so I just want it to ignore all of this so what I do is where I, where I want the code to start again so from here onwards I just type star slash so it's slash star to start the, um, the the cancellation if you like and then star slash to end it as you can see all this is um, it hasn't been greyed out all this is greyed out so it will ignore all this code and carry on from here alternatively we can do slash slash and it will just ignore the whole line so if I wanted to ignore all these three lines we'll go slash slash another slash slash there and another one there so it just ignores this code ignores everything on that line if you want the program to ignore large blocks of code you can uh, you can use the slash star and then star slash to end it so if I wanted to ignore this whole lot I could say star slash and as you can see these brackets aren't greyed out now everything is greyed out from this point I'll just go back to what I was doing and star slash just want to ignore that so I want to start a new line I could just delete all that but I'm just going to keep that there so I'm going to set up a an integer value and to do so we declare a variable of type int and there we go there so it's recognized that int is a is a, is a legal type so I can just int space and I want to give my integer a name, the variable a name. We've got integer age equals and then give it a value, say 42. Again, you don't have to have the space here. It will work without the space. It's just nice to break it up so it's a little bit clearer. So it's a little bit more readable. And don't forget our semicolon and that ends our statement. You do, however, have to have a space in between your variable type and your variable name so if I was to delete that space it wouldn't recognize that so here we've declared a, an integer variable called age and we've given it a value of 42 so let's set up another integer variable so int and we give it a name let's say oh, shoe size and we can end this statement just by putting the semicolon in. So all we've done here, this 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 piece line of code here, all we've done is we've told Java that we want to store a variable called shoe size, and it's going to be an integer. And at some point, but we don't know yet, at some point in the program, it's going to assign a value to this variable shoe size. But let's just give give it a value straight away. So we'll do so on the next line. So we can say shoe size 
and we start typing it automatically recognizes that there is a variable called shoe size so again if I, if I start from the beginning again as soon as I type start typing it's actually seen it it's given you all these all these a list of possible choices that you can select and as you can see shoe size is the second one down that's what we want so we can arrow down we can select shoe size so we don't have to type out the whole thing it just saves a bit of time so we can say shoe size equals say eight and again end our statement with the semicolon so we've declared a couple of variables here and um, we can now output that if we like but we can't just put the variable name inside these these parentheses like we did with our, in our last video like we did with the strings this is because inside these parentheses we can only output text values so if we put an integer variable name in here let's say age I think we want it to output 42 it will come up with this squiggly line which suggests there's an error and what it's saying is it's expecting a string so we have to tell Java to convert the number value to a text value and we can do that by simply putting two quotes at the start and then the plus symbol and then the value we want to display now what this what this plus does is merely join together these two values these two values here this this one and this one now, I know what you might be saying but these two these two quote marks then that's not a value there's, there's nothing there well they kind of are it's it's a text value of of no characters or of nothing it's an empty text value it's a bit like a, a numerical value of zero it's a text value of zero and we are joining together this this numerical value of 42 which Java kindly converts to a text value this this joining together of values is called concatenating so when we use this plus symbol we are we are concatenating when, when we're referencing text values this this is different to using the plus symbol when adding two numbers if you say add two numerical values together say two and three you clearly get five but if we have two text values of two and three so let's say two and three when we concatenate then we get 23 we don't get five we get 23 so if we let's just delete that if we run this this, this application now we'll see 42 now if you want to add these two values you might think it's right to put plus shoe size and you think well yeah it's going to 42 plus 8 but if we run that 42 plus 8 is 428 when you're concatenating you're not adding the values you're just joining the two values together we're just putting the 4 and the 2 and the 8 together to get 428 it's not really a, a number value again it's a text value so if you want to perform actually perform a calculation you have to do that before you output the value so let's say we, we do want to add these two values together and output the sum well if you think about it what we need to do is to be able to store the answer to our sum into another variable so all we have to do is create another integer value an integer type and we give that a name answer so it's int space answer equals age plus shoe size and end our statement with a semicolon so what it'll do now is it'll add that value to that value store the answer into this variable which is called which we've called answer and it's if you notice it's red because this variable doesn't exist because that's a capital S and there we go now if you want to output this answer now all we need to do is remove that place it with answer run the run the application we now correctly see the true sum you're not you're not um, limited to to having to if you want to make a calculation you're not limited to creating the variables first you can just simply put in the numbers that you want to calculate so you could say um, 88 plus uh, 12 well, it's two random numbers 
we run that and then we should see all CC 100 and there we go and we can also change this operator this is called an operator we can we can also change that to minus and so it would calculate H8 minus 12 and give us the art the correct answer and we can also put times if you wanted we could do any number 188 times 10,212 and divide as well so if we put 10 divided by 3 let's run that think okay yeah that's 3.3 .3 recurring so we should see 3.3 .3 recurring but we don't we see three because like I said an integer doesn't have decimal places so it's just outputted three and you think okay it's rounded down well it hasn't actually rounded down it just simply drops the decimal it doesn't give a monkeys about the uh, any, any all the values after the decimal point so if we say for example 24 divided by 5 which is 4.8 you think okay then it round up to 5 but if we run it and it's given us 4 it's just dropped the point 0.8 now I don't know if you saw a, a message there saying do not use concatenated don't worry about that message that came up this is just getting you used to just outputting what we want for now and what you also can't do is you can't you can't say 3 plus 2.5 it immediately throws up a an error here this squiggly line and it's saying it's an inc it's incompatible type it requires an int and you put in a decimal place because you've told Java that the answer will be an integer and immediately throws an error because it's saying well you've got a decimal value here you you're supposed to be specifying all integers integers this isn't an integer this isn't a whole number you don't you also don't have to set up a new variable let's say we wanted to add 42 and 8 to output 50 let's clear this line here so we've got integer age equals 42 and integer shoe size let's just make this a bit clearer let's just immediately say it's 8 and we clear this line here so what we can do we can actually change this value age by saying age equals age so what we're doing here is we're saying that's age this this value here is 42 and then plus you can say 10 if you wanted so what it's saying now is the value of age is going to be this value plus 10 and it immediately immediately changes the value from 42 to 52 in this case so if we change that to age so it outputs what the value of age now is and run that the value of age is now 52 so although we've assigned this value 42 here we've changed it here at this line this line it's it becomes a different value altogether so that's a that's a brief look at um at whole numbers and how we can count make some simple calculations and and output the the answers and onto our onto our uh, application and manipulate them in every way in any way you want to when what we'll do in our in our next video is we'll look at um we'll have a quick look at decimal decimal values i don't want to go too deep into it so it'll probably be quite brief because it's very similar it's just uh you just have to declare it as, as a different type that's all so we'll take a look at that in our next in our next video so thanks for watching guys thanks for subscribing uh, don't forget to hit that like button if you like this video and hope to see you on the next video